Hello, my name is John. I'm a lifetime rock hound, and for the last five years I've been teaching lapidary. I'm making several videos where I am going to discuss my favorite lapidary material. In a final video, I will be ranking the stones from my least favorite to my most favorite. I hope you enjoy this video. Jim Field Jasper is the subject of this video. What you're looking at here is Jim Field Jasper. It comes from a claim that's just outside of Goldfield, Nevada. The material is really nice. It's a Jasper, so it has a set hardness of seven. For the most part, it's solid, does not fracture. Uh, there are some pieces that have little vugs like in them, but you can usually get past that, or if not, they become wonderful pieces for tumbling. The Gemfield mine has a very interesting history. For many years, you could go there and collect. And it was an honor system. You paid, you sent a check back to the people that owned the claim uh, for a dollar a pound. And this stuff is well worth that amount of money. It is probably one of the premier sites in the United States where a person could just go and collect just an enormous amount of Jasper in a very short period of time. The road coming and going is extremely accessible. These are some slabs of Jim Field Jasper. Gives you a chance to look at the different colors, the different patterns. These are all really good slabs. Closer look at the patterns. When working with Jim Field Jasper, it is often the case that when you start slabbing it, you will have slabs that simply, uh, for one reason or another, do not come out in a way that they'll make beautiful cabochons. In this case, I have several pieces that either were end cuts or had some little bugs in them. But I did decide to tumble these and they come out really great. The tumbled material can be wire wrapped or in cases where there's holes in it, uh, you might be able to mount, mount it just like that. But in the case of Gemfield Jasper, never throw a piece away because it just tumbles so nicely. The patterns are really pretty striking here and the colors can range considerably. These are Capuchons of Gemfield Jasper. 
it is one of my favorites. It's so much fun because if you ever go to Las Vegas and you're driving a vehicle with at least some reasonable clearance, you should be able to drive out to Goldfield. It's about a two and a half, three hour drive out of Las Vegas and hunt the material yourself. There's plenty of it there and it is awesome. It takes a wonderful polish comes in a lot of different swirls, colors. If you ever decide to go, go online and read about the latest on Jim Field to make sure it's still open to the public. The last time I was there it was a dollar a pound for what you took and wow is this stuff really worth a dollar a pound. It is really really nice material. I want to thank you for watching these videos. At this time I would like to introduce my assistant, Lilac. Hi. She's also my granddaughter. <laughs>